Hey, I'm JC Frias. I'm from Texas, living in Utah, with my partner of three years and our pets. I love hosting dinner parties and gatherings, and enjoy making everything look adorable in my home. Join me on learning some tips of doing it yourself and being creative. So it's Wednesday night. I have been organizing my laundry room and my storage and just crafting and painting and doing a few things. And I still have time for one more project tonight. And I'm really excited to show you guys this. Um, I've been wanting to show it to you guys for a while. And then I saw it done at one of my friend's weddings as well. Thought it would look super cute. And yeah, so I'm just going to put my own twist on it and let's get this going. So I first saw this project on a magazine that I subscribe to. It's called Country Living. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this magazine. They sell it at the stores, but you can also get a subscription. It's one of my favorite magazines, just kind of for inspiration or ideas or different things to do around the home. And they have this lampshade right here. And it is covered in paper. And um, it's super cute. I'll put a close-up right now. And so you guys can take a look and see what I'm talking about. So then, um, I first saw it there, and then I went to a friend's wedding probably about three weekends ago, and she had a whole bunch of these lampshades with her own take on them and different styles, and I had been wanting to do it, and I was super excited to see it done, and just figured, hey, I can do it too, and, um, and just decided to do it, so I'm super excited about that. So first off, what you're going to need is you're going to need your Mod Podge, any type of Mod Podge, um, this one has the gloss luster or whatever it is. I don't know. But this is the one I use. You can use whichever one you want to use. And then you're going to need your lampshade of your choice. I'm going to use this drum shade. I got this at Target for like $6 or something. It went on sale. So I got that. Um, you can go to your thrift stores, get different types of lampshades. Doesn't need to be the drum one, but that's what I'm doing. And then you're also going to need just... Um, papers um, from a book or wherever you want to grab them from. Just make sure they're all the same tone of color. And then I'm going to use some with the same tone, but also with um, some burnt or some age look to it. Um, and I did a video of how to age paper, so you might want to check that one out if you want to add some um, detail or a different type of look to your map shape. But, um, so yeah, those are the supplies you're going to need. And just make sure you have all those things. It's really for supplies, nothing big. So, um, yeah, let me walk you through the process. And it's quick, easy, and it's probably the, you can't go wrong. And, yeah, it's going to be super easy. So, check it out. First off, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to want an even surface. And this has, like, this lip right here. So, I'm just going to make sure I take this um, material off. And so, I just go to the back and just start peeling off. That way it's all smooth and I'm able to have that even surface right there. So you're just going to make sure you peel all that off and that it has no glue or any texture. Awesome! Alright, so now we are going to use your Mod Podge. Um, and this is super easy to do, nothing hard. So let me show you how to do that. So now that you have your lampshade all nice and clean like this, you are ready to start your process. Um, one technique that I do on, on my papers is I kind of just damp them a little with like a wet cloth on the back just so that they stick better and they don't get so many um, like bumps or creases. So you can just damp your papers if you'd like. Um, I, fit, I find that kind of helps a little. But this Mod Podge, it tends to, um, it tends to dry really fast. So you probably don't want to put like your whole you probably don't want to cover the whole thing. Um, you're going to just want to do it by sections. I am kind of a messy crafter. And so I tend to, um, to make a little bit of a mess. And I don't really like things to look so perfect. And so I think it just gives them a little bit more character when they're not so dang perfect. But all you're going to do is you are going to just... Throw some of this Mod Podge on there. Again, you can't go wrong with this, but you just want to make sure that you do get 
it all in there. And then since this is material, it is cloth, it's going to go right through it. So you just got to make sure that you are fast and you got a good section covered. You just go ahead and grab your paper and you place it down. Perfect for this. And then just with your finger, run it through. And then I always grab the glue right away and then just go and get the edges like that. And this is a good sealer. As long as you're not putting this in like a bathroom where it's gonna get wet or humid, you don't really need to seal it with anything else. But you see that? So that's the first step and then I go ahead and I just add another one. So now that you have it all Mod Podge, you're just going to let it dry. It'll take probably like 5 to 10, maybe 15 minutes. And then after that, you're going to just do a second coat and just make sure you take out all the little air bubbles and just press it um, so it's nice and even. And then you are done. So I will show you the finished product right after this. Hopefully this craft was fun, easy, and simple for you, and you guys go and try it. I'm loving my new lampshade, and hopefully you guys do too. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.